organization a couple of times. But just in case you were wondering how I got my chart to look the way mine does, we'll go in depth a little bit about that. Now I like the black background and the green and either white or red for negative because it's easy to see. So if you like the colors on my chart, all you have to do is click the chart tab up here, come down here to properties, and you'll be able to select the background, foreground, color of the bars that go up, color of the bars that go down, full candle versus bare candle. See if I change these to red. Tomato. All right. Orange red is cool. Boom. So now it's much easier to see when I want to sell and when I want to buy. Now these lines you see on my chart are actually indicators. You'll be able to see the indicators you have in on your data window as well as your indicator list here on the charts. So you see I'm using a moving average, which is the red line, and Bollinger Bands, which are the three green lines. When you want to add indicators to your chart, you just hit insert, come down to indicators, and you find what you're looking for. So I'll show you one more time. Let me come down here and zoom in on this one, make it a little easier to see. And we're going to insert the Inkamoku Kinko Hayu indicator. I usually keep the parameters standard or default, whatever they give me, but you can look into what the same code span B line, the King John sin line, the tick and sin line, because you need to know what these mean anyway to be able to know what those three lines are, which I just referenced, and then what the cloud is doing. But all indicators are gonna have different advantages. You might wanna open up the same pair on four charts and use different indicators on each one so it doesn't get too complicated all in the same area. But that's just a little bit about how to customize the chart. Of course, there's many more options you'll be able to access. And then also you can refresh your chart. trying to see real quick if there was a way to just go back to standard but we'll have to get into that on the advanced video so you guys go ahead to the next training video see you there